Richard Keogh's Barmy Army. Oi, CFC, Richard Keogh's Barmy Richard Keogh could be joining Ipswich Town. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. Hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. Now in today's video guys, we've got a massive, ma I mean, it's massive, all right? This is massive transfer news because Ipswich Town are linked heavily with a free agent. I, th I mean, I think he's free. I, th I think he's free. Before we get into this video, I just want to say a massive thank you for all the support. Uh, I've had a couple of stressful days, but we're getting through it now, and we're going to carry on grinding on YouTube. I'm trying to do daily uploads this week. Obviously, yesterday I did a stream, so if you didn't see that, you, you know, uh, <laughs> you missed out because it was a it was a very good one. Please, please, please make sure you smash this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel as we are on the road to 12,000 subscribers. By the way, boys and girls, I, I looked at a little statistic on my YouTube studio and there's like 60% of you that watch my videos but haven't yet subscribed. What are you doing? Hit that red subscribe button. It looks better grey. Like, hit it for me. Let's try and get my ratio down to 50-50. Anyway, boys and girls, welcome back to another video. Now, today, we are talking about Derby County... <laughs> We're talking about ex-Derby County defender Richard Keogh. Now, the reason why we are linked with him is because he is a free agent. And yeah, we're going to talk more about that in a minute. But before we actually talk about it, I'm going to ring up my friend who is a Derby County fan and YouTuber as well, Alex Allen. Hello, mate. How you doing, mate? How you doing? Not bad, not bad. Uh, I just want to ask, what are your... Obviously, we're linked with him at Ipswich. What are your thoughts on Richard Keogh? Um, very loyal player, makes very few mistakes, but the mistakes he does make can cost you the game. But he is a, he's like, he's a very loyal player, like, if, if that's what you want in a player, he's a very, like, attacking-minded, but also really good at defending as well, mm. because he likes to carry the ball forward. If you watch that playoff final, uh, playoff semi-final played against Leeds, he uh, assisted Marriott with the goal, because he, he, he went up the pitch and assisted Matt with the goal so he is, he is very likely to carry the ball forward and he's very good at doing it as well um, I just feel like obviously his, his injury in the car incident um, I feel like as a person he's, a prob he's, he's definitely going to learn from what he did and n not it's hard to recover from something like that because it's, he's, had a, he's had a bad impact on his name obviously he's Captain at Derby, we've suffered a lot from losing him because he is such a massive player. Obviously, he's our captain. We lost a massive centre back in him. Just brought one in this season. Yeah. But yeah, I think as a person, you'll learn from that. And I, I, well, let's all hope you won't ever make a mistake like that again. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah, I think he'll do well at Ipswich. There you go, um, Alex Allen. Go and follow him on YouTube. I'm going to leave his channel in the description because. You know, I haven't spoke to him much recently. I've been very, very busy, but he's a very sound guy. So, yeah, there you go. We are linked with Richard Keogh, the Derby County. Well, he was, he's now ex-Derby County, um, and he is currently a free agent. So, all this could mean is Richard Keogh could be on his way to Ipswich Town for a free transfer. So, I have done some research. I've, got some, I've, I've gathered some statistics on Richard Keogh. Richard Keogh has made 356 appearances for the Rams, which is mental. From reading that, Richard Keogh has been at Derby County for a long time. He's served the club for a good amount of time, and as Alex said, he does sound like a loyal player. He's also scored 12 goals for Derby County. You know, he's a defender. So, I mean, a goal for a defender is massive. The fact he scored 12 goals at Derby, it's not, it's not terrible. I mean, it could be more, but he is a defender. You've got to consider that. And in terms of the car crash, I'm not going to come on to that too much because I don't know too much about it. All I know is that I know a couple of his teammates got injured. 
I think Tom Lawrence was one and maybe Mason Bennett. Correct me if I'm wrong. So yeah, um, I'm not going to delve into that too much. But from how it sounds, it obviously was a massive mistake that Richard Keogh made. Now I did another bit of research and the club said this straight after the crash happened. Mr Keogh had his contract terminated with immediate effect for gross misconduct. Yeah, already that sounds uh, pretty awful. They terminated his contract and yeah... Um, I mean, he probably regrets it, but things happen in life, you know, and it's happened and he is now a free agent and I am sure he's on his way. I haven't got my shirt on. <laughs> I'm sure he's on his way to Ipswich Town, boys and girls. There's been lots and lots of it in the newspapers today online and coming on to that, I put a little post in the Ipswich Town Facebook group saying, what are your thoughts on Keogh coming to Ipswich? And I'm not going to read them out. I'm going to put some on the screen right now. So yeah, there you go. Um, lots of mixed opinions on Keo coming in. People are saying no. A lot of Ipswich fans are saying yes. Blah, blah, blah. They were on the screen. You can read through them. And there you go. Overall, uh, I'm going to give my quick opinions. Yes, Richard Keo is getting fairly old. He's 33 years old. However, you've got to consider he's not going to be our most expensive player considering the age he's at. He hasn't got a club at the moment. He is a free agent. And obviously, he has... Still got his injury lurking around, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully, if we sign him, we've just got to hope for him to have a speedy recovery. Because people people are saying like he's still got a knee. Um, which, yeah, he, he drove into a tree, didn't he? So, yeah. Overall, he's got experience. He's played at international level. He's played at championship level. He's played at all different ability levels in football. He knows the game. He's got the experience. And for me... I would personally be fairly, fairly happy if he came to Ipswich Town because we need an attacking defender. And if Alex has said he's an attacking and loyal defender, that would be excellent. Especially at League One at the moment as well because we're in League One. We are fighting for promotion next season. We're getting promotion next season. All right? I'm telling you right now. We're getting it. All right. And if Richard Keogh does join Ipswich, that would be beneficial. Anyway, that is it from me. Thank you so much for all the support. Boys and girls, we're done. That is it for the video. Thank you so much for all the support recently. I really, really appreciate it. Richard Keogh's Barmy, R-A-I-T-F-C. Richard Keogh's Barmy. What am I doing? Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave this video a like. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.